because it follows me everywhere I go, and it also, um, you know, our energy is is responsive to, you know, it hits everybody in a, a very positive way. And um, how it changed my life is, uh, well, one story is that a personal story. I used to be a very negative talker towards myself, so I was never good enough, and. Um, I would kind of beat myself up all the time inside and try to control these thoughts by reading self-help books and, you know, trying to say positive things to myself. But it never worked. And then through meditation, on a subtle level, it just disappeared. And I didn't even realize it until one day I just consciously thought, I used to do that and I don't anymore. And these are the type of experiences that you'll find that on a very subtle level will change your whole entire life. So that's just a little bit of my story. And um, here we like to pass on um, and pass it on this peace and, and awareness to others. So I pass it on. Whoever wants to share the story. Hello, my name is Kathleen. And I'm a kindergarten teacher here in Burlington. And um, believe it or not, I was an atheist before. I wasn't very spiritual. I was into philosophy and objectivism, like being rational all the time and stuff like that. So, but um, I get the excitement of um, learning stuff, but I don't get the joy, the inner joy. You know, you don't get that. So for me, Saja Yoga has transformed my life because I became, um, I'm aware of being balanced. You know, we in Saja Yoga, we do, um, the left channel, which is the the past, you know, the become lethargic. When you're keyed up into the past, you become lethargic, lazy, you know, like you become you weigh, you know, you don't get the joy, you don't enjoy. And if you're too much in the right channel, which is the future, go go go, plan plan plan, you don't enjoy as well because you know you don't know what the future brings you. I mean, you can plan, but there are other variables out there. So this makes reminds me that. Be at the present. That's why it's called the presence of mind. Because when you are at the present, you can think clearly, you can decide clearly without any um, judgment or any... Your judgment is not being clouded. You're just at the present and you get that inner joy. So that for me, that's Chaja Yoga and meditation. And I pass it to... Paula. Hello, my name is Paula. And... Uh... What I found with Sahaja Yoga is that uh, actually when I was about in university age, uh, I was taking a philosophy course and the, the, uh, the person that uh, had the most impact, the theories that had the most impact was uh, Dr. Carl Gustav Jung who talked about the collective consciousness. So this is about, you know, we're, we are one but we're also one with the universe, one with each other and um, I found that uh, that I live it every day now. Uh, I had a, I still have a, a thyroid issue, which I kind of did a number on my hormones. <laughs> so, you, but what I found with Sahaja Yoga is that I found out where, where do the emotions come from? They come more from the left channel, like a blockage from the left channel. So I learned how to clear that. And uh, you know, when when we're feeling anxious and stuff, it's more about blockages from the right channel. So once we hit that balance, or and that, that happens just in that thoughtless awareness state, just that few seconds at a time. You know, you don't have to be in meditation the entire two hours, the thoughts come, but we can just watch it like a witness, and you'll find that you'll get access to the absolute truth. So it's, it's not clouded by our ego, our super, super ego. So that's, that's what I find. When, I, when I'm in the balance, I, I'm really enjoying. I just felt that my, uh, my joy expanded. You know, I wasn't looking to make friends, but... Like you can see, there's awesome people here, like genuine people. So I pass it on to the next person who would like to talk. <laughs> so uh, you've heard Paula saying that there are awesome people. She's awesome. She was really one of the hearts. We had many hearts in this event organizing. She's amazing. She, yeah. Uh, but just want to talk about something. Every single one can make a change. Uh, I started Sai Yoga when I was a student. I was married, I was working full-time and full-time university. And I've been to the, a tough university without any cup of 
coffee or any other energizer. <laughs> I just had my energy. And um, we arrived here, my family, eight years back. It was no class here, no class in Oakfield, this area. It was not. And uh, I was meditating. Um, my husband was, you know, jogging, and my daughter was playing, and I was meditating right here in front of this Bonington Art Center on the lakeshore. Vibrations were amazing. And in that meditation, I really had such a urge, a flow of love that was really swirling around the entire town. And I thought, I want to find these people, the seekers. Should be seekers in this town. I don't know nothing about this town, but should be seekers, create seekers. And if you look around, there are so many and amazing. And everything that you see around was handmade. We had Brenda, who, Ella, they, they painted this. They, day and night, and they are extremely busy. I don't know, Ella is teaching extra, extra. So everybody is extremely busy in their personal life. Family, children, we, we did so much work in the night, in the morning, and with so much joy. John, he's, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4, 5, 6, doing the, cropping the videos and everything, and um, Holly, every single one here, Norma, Wendy, I, I don't know, I don't want to miss anyone, every, everybody, and we had friends come, uh, Sonia, she has three jobs, and she still had found time to be here with us. And she's working all weekend. So I'm just saying, amazing people. I don't, uh, the young uh, boys that we are like, they're like our brothers, you know, for me like children, but okay. <laughs> so, kids, totally for me. So uh, they are in IB, tough, tough school in Oville. And they found time to meet with us and to, to practice and to join us in all this craziness because we wanted to bring here the joy. We're not selling anything. It's no called club, I don't know what to say. We have, if nobody would have come, we have had the same joy, because we have so much joy together. Uh, if you would provide your feedback, it would be awesome. If you take two minutes to provide your, your feedback, it would be awesome. Don't forget about the youth group here, and look look at this, how they decorate it, handmade. Everybody try to put everything, I'm, I'm in love with how they are, what they do, look. And we haven't rehearsed anything, just everything came together. So, there are books if you want to find out more about Sahaja Yoga, there are classes everywhere, and we have souvenirs for everyone, a key with a website address, classes in Ontario. Um, feedback would be awesome. You can find us on Wednesday at Brand Hughes Community Centre. Kids, and next year, kids. Kids. Next year we have uh, parents and children, Kathleen and Sonia and a few others. We have the cool kids in Burlington, open to parents and children. So just for you to know, already something happened in Marka. We have here Claudia can stand up. She started with her little one, something similar. They are great. So we started something two years back, but it kind of, you know, we were a very small group then. Now we are a force. So, uh, yeah, so just let us know if you want to know about us more. We don't have so much time. We have to start wrapping up. We have great musicians. We want to thank them. If they want to play, oh my God. Forever. My gracious were awesome. Everyone was awesome. If you want, just go here and we have one last video, like two minutes with African children and everyone can dance because it's about the Sahar spirit. African children, you feel the joy, the vibrations. And after that again, don't run away. Don't just take one minute to, to tell us if you liked us or not. Okay? Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you.